Today we're going to show EBT uh, or food stamp acceptance on the EPOS Now system. Uh, for this setup you're going to need an A-series device with e-conduit gateway, black line gateway on the EPOS system. This allows for the pin transaction for the uh, food stamps, as well as an EPOS Now till. Those are the two main functions. I'd like to have a receipt printer and a barcode scanner if possible, but those are the only two things you need for EBT. Um, what we have here is actually a liquor store we set up that has some EBT items. So we have just an EBT test item here, which means it's EBT qualified. We're going to ring it in for 93 cents. We're going to ring another one in for $12. So this means we have $12.93 worth of EBT items. We're going to scroll back up. We're going to ring in also a case of beer. We're going to ring in 60 minute IPA. So that's a $18 case of beer. It's going to ask us for our age verification. Age is verified. Accept. And so now we have our EBT items at the top and our beer below that. Um, so the next thing we do is separate the two. So the way you'll separate it is you hit the tax exemption button. And what you'll see on the right hand side is the two check boxes for EBT. You can now manually check them to add them to your exempt items or you can just hit exempt all and there's a green button down here. We're going to hit exempt all. And then we're going to hit done. So what that does is two things. One, it takes the tax off those items, which is part of the EBT process. So there is no tax on food stamp valid, uh, validated items. Um, it also creates a total for tax exempt over here, the second one down. So the total amount due is at 33.25 at the top. And right below that is the 12.93 for the tax exempt amount. So to run that through as a food stamp item, you're going to hit 12.93, which is the amount in the tax exempt column. In our system, we have more. You can put EBT as a bottom button here, but we have a lot of buttons. For us, it's going to be more and then EBT, pay with tender. And then the next thing it'll prompt us for is EBT cash for food stamps. And then what you'll see here next is the terminal lights up for an EBT sale. Um, we have a test card that'll decline. We don't have a test card that'll put through a dollar amount. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit cancel here and we'll simulate what happens. So what would normally happen would be it would then push that back through. So we're going to simulate it by putting it through as cash just for now. And so what would happen left is now the 2020, 2032 remaining is the minus the EBT amount. So now you can run that through as cash or whatever else you do to complete the sale. And once you've done that, your sale is closed. And on your receipt, you'll have your EBT amount run as well as your cash amount run.